What's up, you guys? It's 2.11 in the afternoon on October 20th. As of yesterday, I was nine weeks post-op. I know I keep saying it, but I cannot believe I was in a hospital nine weeks ago recovering from fallow. I feel great. I actually just drove to the beach. I'm not really a fan of car vlogs, but in case it's windy out there, I just wanted to document and say, hey, I'm wearing my brace just because I was doing some lifting and I don't want to snap my tendons. But uh, I do it when I want to limit my movement or when my hand's a little sore. So I don't need to be wearing my brace at this point. I say it often, but my wound healing, uh, the wound separation is coming together. It is so small now. I can pee standing up if I plug it. It definitely is amazing to see piss shoot out of my own dick. It's so euphoric, but it also, it's kind of a pain to, you know, plug the hole, hold the penis, don't get it all over my clothes, but it's just stuff cis dudes have to deal with when urinating anyway. So it's kind of, it's kind of funny to want it all, the, all these years, finally have it and be like, damn it, I just fucking peed all over myself. My stream is also kind of funny. One complaint I have is it doesn't shoot out very far, but that could also be healing. That could also just be the fact that I have that hole, you know, that's that urine is coming from two places instead of just the penis. So I wish my stream shot out farther because when I used STPs, that caused me some dysphoria. But, you know, if not, it's still amazing just to see the piss come from my own dick. Also, what's kind of funny is my piss stream goes to the right, at least right now it does. Um, I don't have too much problem with spraying sometimes, but it goes to the right. I'm a lefty. I don't know if it's TMI, but I generally hold my dick with my left hand to pee. And I did that with my STP for 17 years. So it's kind of funny that it goes to the right because I'm holding it with this hand and it's going out this way. It would, it would just be more convenient if it went to the left. So that's about the pee stream. Peeing standing up is awesome. I can't wait till I don't have to plug it. I know I keep saying it, but I think that will just take a huge weight off. It's why I got the surgery. One other thing is my dick seems to be shrinking a little bit. A lot of people will say they notice a difference after glands plasty that looks smaller. I do think because the definition of the glands, you know, like when defining the glands, it does kind of take away what looks like the length, but I don't know if it actually makes it any smaller. And if it does, it's probably minuscule. So I think it's just more of a visual thing, but I think what I'm noticing is A, um, I'm not as swollen, and then B, the scar on the bottom is contracting, the seam where Dr. DeLeon sewed me up, and I think that is causing the dick not only to appear a little bit smaller, what it's doing is it's like curving it a little bit. So yeah, it, it curves just a little bit, so I have been using some like lotion to moisturize it and just kind of trying to do some scar massage to kind of loosen it up. In terms of massage, someone asked, do I do any kind of like tickling or, you know, stuff on my hand to try to figure out sensation there. And I do, I have not been doing the actual hand exercises provided by the hand therapist. It's just, I'm so far out now, I don't really need those and I've gained most of my range of motion back. But I do rake my hands along my arm and I do some tickling type things. Definitely have a lot here. Don't feel it so much on the top yet. I think that's most of what I wanted to say. I don't know if I'll be able to film out on the beach, but um, another thing, someone asked about hair. I am actually just starting to see hair growth on my dick. My balls have been growing hair since I got out of surgery, basically. My penis after two months is first starting to see little bits of hair, as is my arm is starting to grow some hair back. It's interesting to see the hair come back because I know this is my thigh on my arm and my arm is now my dick. So it just, I thought it would happen sooner, but yeah, so two months out is when I'm first starting to see the hair. And then I was asked about ingrown hairs. What's interesting is the day after I got this comment, I literally had noticed that I had mistaken them for what I thought were incisions because where my dick is sewn to me, I dealt a lot with just incisions being just unhappy and sometimes poking through and most have come out. And I thought I had that same problem, but I think it's an ingrown hair. So where my penis is sewn and attached to me, it's kind of like, you know, it's the old, I guess, mons and then the dick is here, but it's kind of like the ingrown hairs are conflicting against each other or the hairs from penis and then my actual body where it's sewn on are almost like growing into each other. So I have about three right now. And I can't sit in like a warm bath. Normally I would like sit in a bath, use like a warm compress. I guess I could still do that. And then try to kind of alleviate some of that discomfort there. 
But I'm going to go walk on the beach. I'm at Volano Beach. It's one of St. Augustine's beaches. It's my favorite beach in Florida. I'm going to go look for shark's teeth because it's notorious for shark's teeth. So I think I went over everything that I wanted to talk about. And if I can think of anything else, I'll let you know. All right, peace, guys. Thanks for being a part of my journey. way windier than I anticipated. It was supposed to be a low tide, but we've been out here since the hurricane, and uh, it definitely looks like it's creeped up some. So I'm going to go look for some shark's teeth, and I think I covered pretty much everything I wanted to, so cheers you guys. Have a great rest of your week. Have a great weekend too. Brimless cap. It looks like something an infant would wear. Thank you. His hat. She's hating on me. There's nothing wrong with his hat. Thank you. It's brimless. No back. Oh, it's cute though. Oh, on my side. Oh. Hi. It's uh, about twelve forty-three. Yeah. In the afternoon. It's October twenty-first. I've been in Saint Augustine all week just chilling out at the farm, but it's time for some social interaction. So I'm going up to Jacksonville to see the uh, interactive Van Gogh exhibit. And one thing I'm not sure I touched on yesterday in my car vlog was uh, my energy levels. So, so much more up. I'm definitely still tired. Definitely don't have, not back to my same energy level, but instead of being at like 50%, I'd say I'm at like 70, 75, which is a huge improvement. Been cooking more for myself. Living out in the country it takes 20 minutes to get anywhere each way, so it, it's like something I kind of have to plan. So that also is both good and bad. It's been good to be out here, a little more isolated, but also with my two roommates who are hilarious and loving and awesome and affirming. And like last night, we just sat in the hot tub. I just had my feet in, and they sat there. We just talked for a couple hours. It was so cool. Yeah, so just really enjoying being down here. It's super peaceful. I'm safe, and then I'm gonna go see my friends. All right, peace.